G'day ladies and gentlemen, my name's Isaac Butterfield and please do not take this video the wrong way. I know a lot of people will, but please just don't. I'm aware that a lot of people think that I hate the LGBTQIA plus community. I mean, just look at this video that was posted last week by the queer Kiwi. Yeah, she's not, she's not happy with me. Anyway, that mindset that I'm some evil piece of shit just because I question things, particularly about transgender people, just because I question those things, people assume that I hate a whole group of people. That's madness. I was recently at a nightclub for my Bucks party. Yes, I'm a thousand years old, but I was at a nightclub. And this very obvious transgender person walked over to me and danced near me. And all their friends were watching. They were like, oh my God, you're gonna freak him out. You're gonna scare him. What are you, what are you doing? I just said, hello, how are you? And then walked out to the smokers area and smoked a big fat cigar. Ladies and gentlemen, grab me merch, I'm running out of cash. <laughs> Please, for Christ's sake, we grab it. It will have two of these. Drop me super up, you dogs. Isaacbutterfield.shop. Yeah, there I am looking like an absolute wanker. Point being, I don't hate anyone. That is the most ridiculous idea about me. And it's those ideas that are pushed by other people who are trying to, I don't know, discredit me in some weird way. They're trying to say, don't listen to this guy. He hates people. He hates gay people, lesbian people, trans people. Bo what are you talking about? I don't hate you. I care about you. I respect you. But even if I did hate you, why would you care what I think? I love the entire GBTQIAR plus community. You notice I left out lesbians? Ladies, cheer up a bit and then we'll talk. Although I would find it hard to smile if my breath smelt like fish all day. Although I will say this, your porn's not bad. Gross. Anyway, my point being, I don't hate anyone, but I do think that I should be able to question or at least state that men can't have babies without being banned from things or shouted down as a bigot. It's just sort of like, you know, facts and shit. But me as a person who relies on facts, you know, we just, we can never get along with people who rely on feelings. I think that is just nature now. In this video, we're gonna talk about Pride Month. A very important month indeed. But before we do, this video is brought to you by the great people at Surfshark VPN. Safety and security are two very important aspects of daily internet life. Did you know? Creeping around the computer every afternoon, there's dirty little soy boys trying to do you harm. They're coming for you. They're trying to tickle your feet under the computer desk. They're coming for you. If only there was someone to protect you, to look after you, to pat you on their head at night and tell you everything's gonna be all right. But wait, there is Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN turns you into an anonymous and hard to trace online user. Also, do you know what geo-blocking is? Do you know that Disney Plus and Netflix actually only show some shows and movies to different parts of the world at different times? That's ridiculous! Access shouldn't be tied to nationality. That's thoroughly offensive. But Surfshark gives you all the access you need. Just connect to the service, refresh the page, and access granted. I use Surfshark every single day when I start up my PC. I love it. It's the best. It's the booze news. It's there whenever I need it, and I can activate it with just one click. And for you lovely looking people, yeah, I'm talking about you. Damn, you look good today, all right? You can go and use the promo code BUTSMAN to get eight. 83% off and three extra months for free. Surfshark also gives you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there is no risk. Surf by your own set of rules, ladies and gentlemen. The link's down below. Go and support those who support us. Now, back to the video. From the 1st of June to the 30th, it is a very important month on the calendar. It is Pride Month, a month that supports uh, everyone who's not straight. Yay! It's a month that celebrates the LGBT community. Well, it was once known as the LGBT community. Give me one second, I'm gonna Google what it is right now. It's now the LGBTQQIAAP community, which stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, Queer, Questioning, Intersex, Allies, Asexual, and Pansexual. There's no gender fluid in there, so I'm offended, to be honest. But I will say this, what a gay man has to do with an intersex person, I don't know. I don't know why they're in the same group. Also, allies. So if you 
are an ally of the LGBT community, you're a part of the LGBT community. I just think it's weird there's two camps, straight people and everybody else. Why? I just don't understand why segregation is so important in the modern era. Like why is segregation based on what you do in the bedroom? Who cares what you do in the bedroom? Great segue Isaac, I'll tell you who cares. Companies and corporations. That's who cares about what you do in the boudoir. There are so many giant corporations all over the globe that are hijacking Pride Month and using it to make more money. Now, companies do this with everything, right? They do it with Christmas, they do it with Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. That's what they do. That's capitalism and we love it, baby. Go and get the merch. Isn't that fucking gorgeous? Anyway, point being, they are doing the exact same thing with Pride Month. I know everyone sits around and goes, oh wow, look at Uber. They've got a Pride flag on their fucking logo. Isn't it great that Uber cares? I was in the Gold Coast recently and the Uber cars actually were the Pride flag. Let me let you in on a little secret. Uber doesn't give a flying fuck. A flying fuck, ladies and gentlemen. All they care about is whether or not you use their service over everybody else. They don't care if you're gay, you're straight, you're a fucking white supremacist. Just use Uber. That is their whole advertising mindset. The same goes for these guys. LinkedIn, they don't give a fuck. Twitter, they don't give a fuck. Tumblr, don't give a fuck. Spotify, doesn't give a fuck. YouTube, they're great people. They give a fuck. I love you. I love you, YouTube. Thank you, boss. Please don't take my channel down. Airbnb, they don't give a fuck. Fucking The Gap, The White House, no one cares. They're just trying to push how woke they are in a way to say to people, hey, come and shop with us. Or hey, come and trust us. Come into our inner circle. And then whack, they want you to buy something. You might be sitting there going, hey, hang on. Butterfield, listen here, dickhead. They do care. They really do care. I'm going to prove to you at the end of this video that none of these people give a shit about gay people, trans people, asexual allies and all that shit. But for some companies, that's not enough to pretend that they give a shit. How's this? <laughs> when, I, when I saw this, I was like, fucking good grief. There's an Uber Eats-like company in America called Postmates. Now, everyone from America will be very familiar with that. How did they celebrate Pride Month, you ask? Well, they created a bottom-friendly menu. So they deliver food, right? And they created a bottom-friendly menu. Now, if you don't know what being a bottom is, it's being on the bottom in the sexy time. It's basically a code word for anal. They created an anal-friendly menu, which, hey, if you're into that, great, all right? But it's just a weird thing to advertise, which they did on Twitter. But before we go any further, thank you to Postmates for really getting out there and looking after people so they didn't get poo on their cock. What are you eating this pride? Well, if you're a top, it seems like you can eat whatever you want. Because they're the ones doing the rooting. See? We're paying attention and we're learning. But if you're a bottom, you're expected to starve? Not this pride. Not this pride. This pride, we're eating bolognese. We're eating fucking nachos, Mexican. We're eating the spiciest shit of all time. Big cans of corn. That's what we're eating. Introducing the bottom friendly menu from Postmates. Huh? We teamed up with Dr. Evan Goldstein from Bespoke Surgical to bring you a menu of bottom friendly foods backed by science. Are we really advertising food that won't get shit on your dick? Is that how you become a part or an ally of the LGBT community by advertising what's not gonna get poo on cocks. That's what you're doing at the moment, guys. That's what you're doing. I would love to know what gay people think of this, or at least anyone that sticks cocks into bum holes. Please, let me know. Do you see an advertisement for this and go, wow, thank you for supporting our community? Or do you go, can you fucking not? If I wanna find out what to eat so I don't get poo floating around everywhere, I'll Google it. Insoluble fiber won't help you feel cute, so avoid things like whole grains, wheat bran, cauliflower, potatoes, legumes. Because you'll have shit on your dick. Hold up. Are you just fully diving into those beans? <laughs> Ew. The problem with these foods is they don't dissolve in water, which could cause a traffic jam in your digestive system, making a mess of your evening. Poo on cock. Mm. Speaking of messy, it's a good idea to avoid dairy. I cannot handle lactose right now. Look at it. This is just too much. There's literally a campaign here advertising to grown ass fucking men 
how to not get poo on their dicks while they fuck people in the ass. Are there some things that are just better left unsaid? Can we just have things available for people to Google? Why is this fucking, like, your advertising campaign? Why? There's no right or wrong way to bottom. But if you're planning on getting peachy this pride, the bottom-friendly menu on Postmates has the kinds of foods that can keep you feeling good. Are you organic? If you're planning on fucking someone on the ass this June, make sure you use Postmates, because we know how much you like to jam it up the fucking sphincters, and you don't like pulling it out like it's a big, dirty, chock top. Please, for fuck's sake, pump up our profit margins while you pump it in your mate's ass. How good? Oh, but it gets better. They actually cover all bases of bigotry by doing this at the end. <clears throat> and I will read it with love. A donation was made to the Okara Project, a black woman-led collective that addresses food insecurity, mental health, and financial barriers faced by the trans community. Oh my God, why? Why did you have to say that at the end? That's like those fucking TikTokers and YouTubers that go around and give like fucking homeless people 50 bucks and they go and they pan in with the camera and go, have I changed your life? Are you off the drugs now? Wow, how beautiful of me. Please like and subscribe. Next week I'm gonna get a single mother off crack cocaine. All it is is virtue signaling so you use their product. That's it. And we know how virtuous these companies are, or at least how virtuous they want to appear. Because there's a lot of companies that will change their logo to the pride flag, but in reality they don't support gay people at all. I might be seen as the bigot because I question certain things, but I genuinely care about these people. I want them to live happy lives, but the companies who say, oh my God, everything's about the LGBT community. Let's take BMW, for example. Oh look, BMW, look, they've changed their logo. They must really care about everything to do with trans issues and gay issues. But in the one group of countries that really persecute gay people, where they really need to look after gay people, where we need to assist if we can, BMW doesn't change their logo. Isn't that strange? So do they care about gay people or profit? That's an interesting question. Maybe I'm being a bit of a dick here. Maybe it's just BMW's marketing department in the Middle East didn't get the memo. Let's check out Bethesda, a gaming company. Oh, hold on a second. They didn't change it for the Middle East either. What about BP or Visa? Oh, no non-binaries in the Middle East. This is very strange indeed. It almost seems that they will only change to the pride flag if it benefits them financially. But companies in countries where the LGBTQIA plus community really is persecuted, not in the West, that doesn't exist anymore. In the countries where they really are persecuted, remember, in let's say Australia or America, it's persecution of trans people if you say that men can't have babies. That's bigotry. In places in the Middle East, the bigotry is a bit different. They get thrown off fucking buildings. A little bit different. I would argue that maybe the companies that really are pro-LGBT communities should really focus their efforts there to help the gay people, the trans people, the bisexual people. But they don't. Because they don't care. You fucking idiots. They don't want to cause friction in those countries because it will directly affect their back pockets. What a bunch of virtue signaling c I thought I'd take this opportunity to actually talk about what Pride Month celebrates. Pride Month, Pride celebrations and Pride marches are how the LGBTQ community and allies address the ongoing work for acceptance and equality, right? Which we all have in the Western world. If you, I don't know anyone who doesn't accept gay people or trans people. Like, and if you do know one of those people, maybe you shouldn't be friends with them. Which ultimately brings us to the Stonewall Riots of 1969 in New York City. Fed up with being harassed and targeted, LGBTQ patrons of the Stonewall Inn, who were predominantly people of colour, fought back against police, which resulted in four nights of rioting. I'm very glad that gay people, trans people, lesbian people, oh, maybe not lesbians, but these people have the rights they have. And they've fought hard for that. And that is the society we live in, and it's fantastic. But for the people who use the entire month to run around, I don't know what they do for the entire month. That's a long time. Maybe for those people, and for the companies that pretend to love them so much and be so virtuous, why don't you spend one of those 30 days 
actually making a difference in countries where gay people, lesbian people, trans people are persecuted on a daily basis. That's just my thought, but who cares what I think? I'm a white bigot, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, mid stinks. There's a merch drop coming soon. Brand new Batman hoodies. Yeah, I'll fucking see you then. Two, oh yeah, yeah, go capitalism. That's me again. Uh, bye, see you, bye. Yeah. Yeah.